Romans chapter 12, 13. Distributing to the necessity of saints, given to the hospitality. Distributing to the necessity of saints and given to the hospitality. So, who are saints who are ministering? Lord and Saviour, Jesus Christ. So, it is a responsibility of every believer of Christ to take care of the necessity of his saints. And also, believers have to be ready to provide hospitality to the saints. When Jesus Christ was on the earth, so many people were given hospitality to Lord. Example, a poor family, Martha, Maria, Mary and Lazarus. These three are living in a, a place called Beth Bethany. Jesus was regularly came to this place, stayed with them and taken hospitality from them. They were so happy to receive Jesus. They were not rich people. They don't have big house, don't have proper accommodation to arrange all the things properly to Jesus Christ. And another thing is that Jesus, Lord Jesus Christ was not came to these, this house alone. Along with him, 12 disciples. So Lord with the 12 disciples, 13 members and some more people who followed Lord from Jerusalem to Bethany. Another thing, so many people came to see Lord, listen the words from Him and many hundreds and thousands of people came to get healed by the Lord. So imagine the situation, generally we invite some of our known people, our relatives, our friends to our home. If they come alone, we feel very happy. If they come with the family, can be acceptable, considerable. But if your friend is coming with more number of people to your house, what you will do? Uh, you initially tell to your friend, better not come to my house because my house is not sufficient to provide hospitality to all the members who are coming with you. Better you find some more better place where you can stay along with your followers and friends. We initially will inform to our friend better not to come. But if you see, Martha may Mary's and Lazarus house was very small and there is no proper items in the house, no place to everyone stay inside the house and no items to cook, food, arrange for everyone. But still, they were so happy to receive Lord and Christ Saviour. So they offered, they asked God, Lord, please come to our house every time. Whenever or in which time you come to Jerusalem, don't stay at Jerusalem, please come to Bethany and stay in our house. And when Lord, his disciples, all the followers, visitors, so many people are continuously, they are coming and going to the house of Martha, Mary and Lazarus. But they were not frustrated and they were not angry, but they feel so happy that Lord Jesus was inside their house and there will be no lack to one. And have you imagined any time such a poor people, how they got food items and to provide food to everyone? Because when Lord Jesus Christ was there in your house, you called Lord to your house, then there will be a full of happiness, richness and there will not be any lagging in the house. So Lord was called by these people, Martha, Mary and Lazarus. And once Lord entered, stepping into their house, there is no lacking, there is no shortage of food, there is no problem of anything in the world, in their house. So in this night, what we have to understand, so Lord Jesus Christ told, uh, whoever gives a small cup of water to my saints, and I will bless them, and they are giving water to me, if you help my saints, you are directly helping to me. If you give a small cloth to his saints, his disciples, his ministers, and you are giving cloth to Lord and Saviour Christ. 
if you are giving to something some item some any cloth any quantity of water food or anything to the saints or ministers god servants of christ lord shall surely bless you and he will definitely visit you and he bring heavenly blessings upon you so in this night some of the verses uh, we will meditate to uh, understand the importance of the hospitality hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 for god is not unrighteous to forget your work and labor of love which you have showed towards his name in that you have ministered to the saints and do minister our lord is a righteous god and he never forget your work your contribution your effort towards his name that means towards his servants his ministers and god servants who are sincerely committed way they are doing service of the lord encourage them and give a hospitality to them show your love show your care to your pastors your elders and the god servants of your church that is if you do that hebrews chapter 6 verse 10 saying that lord is righteous and surely he will bless you one more verse we will read second corinthians chapter 9 verse 1 second corinthians chapter 9 verse 1 for as touching the ministering to the saints it is superfluous for me to write to you so for as touching the ministering to the saints so another responsibility for us ministers of god will minister to lord and also they are ministering to us they are not only ministers to god they are ministering to us they are sacrifice they their life in their life there are they, they were facing or experiencing so many problems and most of the god servants or saints they never open their mouth or tell their needs and requirements to anyone except god so as a believers we have to believe and understand that sure they are in the necessity they need some help so as we belongs to the church and they are ministering to god ministering to us it is again our responsibility to take care of them and also to fulfill their necessities and to give better hospitality to them so we should not escape uh, from these uh, important things in our life in these days very sad uh, to tell we are not really giving the right needs or hospitality or necessities to our god servants or pastors that was the reason they were highly discouraged and but still they are sincerely doing the works of god so the workers of god they are struggling in day to day life with uh, so many problems in all directions at least if we show our love our careness and our hospitality and helping them to fulfill their necessities as per our own effort and capability that gives more happiness encouragement motivation to the workers of god so they can proceed in the ultimately god is the provider to them god is take care of them god will take care of their families he will bless the pastors elders the people who are sincerely committedly involved in the service of god but at the same time god gave this a responsibility to us so god will also see that are we really fulfilling and helping and taking care of our god chosen people that means the ministers on to god one more verse we'll read second corinthians chapter 9 verse 12 for the administration of this service not only supplyeth the want of the saints but is abundant also in many thanksgiving unto lord here service administration of the service is not only supplyeth the wants of saints but is but is abundant also by many thanksgiving so one side supplying the 
wants of the saints second thing is thanksgiving on to the lord first timothy chapter 3 verse 2 a bishop then must be blameless husband of one wife vigilant sober of good behavior and given to the hospitality apt to teach so if you are a bishop pastor servant of god or a chosen person to do any kind of service in the presence of lord one more important quality must be in your life that is uh, given us given to hospitality anyone comes to you you have to give a good hospitality to your church members also so pastor or servant of god that doesn't mean that always taking hospitality from others but also you have to give hospitality to your fellow bishops fellow pastors fellow preachers and uh, servants of lord who are your fellow people doing service of god you need to give a better hospitality and also provide a necessities fulfill their uh, necessities as per your capability so if you do that then god will open the doors of heaven and also god will see your necessities and he will help you from in all directions so pastor means god servant means not to take only hospitality but also be uh, ready and have a mind to provide hospitality to others one more verse hebrews chapter 13 verse 16 hebrews chapter 13 verse 16 but to do good to communicate forget not for with such sacrifices god is well pleased so if it is good but to do good and to communicate forget not so this is a good helping your god servants understanding their necessities praying to god and as per the god's will helping your pastors and your church elders or the servants so that is a good and that is good in the sight of lord last verse we will read and we'll end up today's session first peter chapter 4 verse 9 first peter chapter 4 verse 9 use hospitality one to another without grudging ultimately as a children of god we have to remember one thing you have to give a good hospitality recently i heard about one brother he was uh, working uh, his profession is a doctor in one of the remote place that place was in uh, in very remote area there are so many tribal peoples are living in that place so some few missionaries they were planned to uh, go to that place and do the lord's ministry there to proclaim the gospel and also to do some medical service so in a such a way some missionaries have thought but th- those missionaries do not have or mm, do- don't know anyone in that place so after doing some inquiry they came to know this uh, particular doctor uh, he is doing uh, medical service there and also is a right man to help these missionaries so the missionaries went there and asked him help and immediately uh, the doctor told that so be in my home how many days you want and do the your missionary work from my home only so the missionaries were so happy uh, the word they received from the doctor and almost uh, one batch of missionary for few months they were in the house of the doctor and they they did a, a good service there after that uh, they came back to their place later on one more batch of missionary they gone to the same place and the same doctor gave the accommodation to them food and other needs he was given a very good hospitality to other batch of missionaries also like the way from last almost more than 20 years this brother doctor he is helping the missionaries to come to his house stay there and from that house the missionaries went to many remote and tribal places and did a wonderful service in that forest zone among the um, tribal people so one person's the commitment towards hospitality was given great results many tribal people were accepted lord and savior jesus christ 
and they were growing up in our Christ. So hospitality is very, very important. That is one of the very important characteristic of the Lord's children. Through that, many God's children, unknown people also will be encouraged and they do good Lord service. And definitely, Lord is seeing you, your contribution and sure, Lord will reward you and bless you. Lord bless these words. Amen.